certainly be worldwide recognition of the fact for if over 200 million people suddenly depart this earth leaving their earthly belongings behind pandemonium and confusion will certainly reign for a time a million conversations will end mid-sentence can you imagine that mid-sentence people on television mid-sentence they're gone a million phone receivers will suddenly go dead a woman will reach out for a man's hand in the dark and no one will be there. A man will turn with a laugh to slap his colleague on the back and his hand will move through empty air. A basketball player will make a length of the floor pass to a teammate streaking down court and find there is no one there to receive it. And no referee to call out of bounds. And listen to this, friends. This really moves my heart. A mother will pull back the covers in a bassinet, smelling the sweet baby smell one moment, but suddenly kissing empty space and looking into empty blankets. Think of the countless homes where, in the twinkling of an eye, only clothes will remain in the chair where a believer sat moments before. Consider the passengers aboard airplanes with a Christian crew. Many believe that the rapture will result in titanic chaos as Christian auto and bus drivers, train engineers, pilots, and others suddenly vanish. The rapture just may create the greatest freeway gridlock in history. The world will somehow have to come to terms with millions of missing Christians. The ensuing outcry of sorrow, loss, and confusion will make the rapture a well-publicized event dominating the media probably for weeks and even months. The world will have to recognize the rapture, but too late to prepare for it. Because, you know, friends, they will be left behind. And if you're watching this video right now, and you have experienced this, I'm glad that there is still hope for you. Jack is going to tell you about that a little bit later. Ja, ja, Cthulhu, vertagen.